Hey everyone, Shane here from RVs of America or ROA Off-Road. I'm out in Africa, not really. Actually, um, I'm in a little desert, but we do call it Little Sahara out here in Utah. And I wanna share something with you. It is a story about Africa. It's a story about a company that comes from Africa. And it's pretty sweet. Come check it out over here. This is the Conqueror, and this is the UEV. That stands for Urban Escape Vehicle 490. This company has been around for over 30 years, building first for the military and then for the private sector, campers. And these things are rugged, they're amazing. Today I'm gonna do a quick tour of this and walk you around it. And we do have a full tour we're working on. So you can shoot us a text at 801-860-0035 or go to our website, rvsofamerica.com and we'll be able to get you that uh, full tour. But I wanted just to go around this and show it off a little bit, very quick. Let's start over here in the kitchen area. This kitchen is awesome. Has some nice stainless steel over the stove top. Here is your sink. Uh, you have hot and cold water outside in the kitchen area. Um, underneath this stove top, I wanna show you what they do with the silverware drawer. They do some really cool things. Conqueror has been around so long that many people actually say that they've inspired much of the off-road industry, not just in the US, but also in Australia. As you can see, these cool cup holders, they, they fit in perfectly with these rubber things. You got straps over your bowls. You even got nice little wine glasses. You see stuff like this on in earth roamers in the US, you know, but you're spending over a million dollars for that. And you know, they're relatively young. You know, Conquer has been doing stuff like this <laughs> for 30 years. It's really cool. Got a little steak knife for a shrimp on the barbe. You can look over here. We got spoons every, and everything just slides in perfectly and fits really tight. So when you're off-roading, bouncing around, it holds in really nicely here. Over here, we got the large ice co refrigerator, 12 volt. Walking over to this direction, as I mentioned, we got wine glasses. There's where you put your wine. <laughs> I don't drink wine, but if you do, you can right there. Or you could use this for, I'm sure, many other things. Lots of pockets, lots of storage area in this thing all the way around the trailer. Here's another little tray for a kitchen. You do have access inside, lights out here. You do have some really cool awning lights all along here. And the switch is just back here. You just turn it on and off and you can see the lights. Moving back to the back area, besides the back of this trailer being just awesome, it also serves as a talking point of how cool it is. This slides off and becomes a grill. So you can throw that on the over the fire, cook some steak or whatever, and it also just looks really sweet and everybody's gonna be like, what is that? Okay, over on the curb side or the passenger side, I do want to talk a little bit about this awning more. This is the Batwing. There's two on each side, so they're 180s. There's actually a connection piece back there that will make it go all the way around the trailer, almost for a 360, not just not in the front. Coming over here, we do have a compartment. This is an access panel to the AC heater system. We switched it out. We modified it for a propane heater, so it works better off-grid. It's much more efficient than what comes in at stock. That's one of the cool things about ROA off-road is we're always upgrading things. But let's move over to this side of the door. Over here, we shut this door up. Locks in at two different points, which is great when you're off-roading. You never want a single latching point because if it breaks, the door flies open. Plus, sometimes when you're moving back and forth, the door can latch open. When you have two latches, very unlikely that's ever going to happen. Over here, you have the Conqueror and open this up. This is an outside shower, has a nice stainless steel hose, hot and cold. If you are showering at night, you have a little enclosure and you can use this light to see what you're doing. Once again, just tons and tons of storage all the way around. A little bit about the construction material. The whole entire trailer is aluminum. The chassis is hot dipped galvanized steel. So it's strong, it's robust. You know, 
not a lot of stuff on this can rust over time, which is really, really nice when you have a camper that's made for going to places that no other, other camper can. You want it durable, you want it strong, you want it made to last. Uh, moving up to the front really quick, let's check this out and then go inside. So we got our very, very front compartment, which is our propane tank storage holder. This guy right here opens up and it's passed through all the way in. You have a shovel right here that comes standard. You got lots of cool little goodies. You got the toilet in here and you can make, you can have that in your own room. Water pump for everything. We did actually take this off-roading as you can see the mud. We also had some carnage. Show you on the other side. A lot of people ask, why do people travel from across the entire country? We have people coming from Florida, New York, to come buy a camper from RVs of America or ROA Off-Road. The reason is because you have an experience that you don't get anywhere else. A lot of places you'll go into, it's just pretty much a transaction, it sells. You know, the salesman says, this is what we got. He'll read you off a lot of specs and that's what it is. Here at ROA, we use the products that we sell. It's, it's required. We ask everyone in our shop to take the campers out, to use them. Everybody from our, especially the guys that sell them. Uh, and we don't even call them salesmen, we call them coaches because they're supposed to coach you through what's best for you. It's not about selling you something, it's about making sure you're making the best decision for what fits for your family. And that's why we carry a lot of different brands. Now we do stay to the off-road is because that is our, it's in our DNA to go off-roading. We love off-roading. That's what we do on the weekends. But you know, we actually use these things and you have a different experience. When the technician that's working on your camper, when he uses the camper, when you, the sales coach is helping you decide on what works for you, they've slept in them, they've, you know, they've, camped in them, they've utilized all of the different components in it and they know what's best. And it's not just this, oh, I don't know, like here's the specs. You are working with people that are truly off-roading and we believe that we take these through things that nobody in their right mind would ever do. We do it just, just to show that you can. And yes, sometimes we destroy things and we have issues and then we reach back to the manufacturer and say, hey, this is a problem. Now this is not a problem of Conquer. This was a malfunction on the tow rig. This tire mount system back here, as you can see on this Toyota, uh, the latch broke and it flipped out and smashed into it when we were turning. So not the Conqueror's fault, but we did get some carnage and we love to show off the carnage and just show you that we're actually doing this off-roading. You know, we're, we're in the desert, we're on the sand dunes, we're going up and down dunes and it flipped open and boom. We had another one of, of our trucks have some damage today. Unfortunately, it was very sad, sad, sad day. We'll show you that too. Uh, but you know, we're out using these campers. It's not, it's a totally different experience that you get here at ROA. But let's head inside and show you the inside really quick. Okay, here we are inside the Conqueror 490. Awesome lighting, all the, the windows around you. It just opens up to the outside. It's beautiful day. You know, you get nice cross breeze. There is screens also. Uh, this thing has so much storage, like you could never say this thing lacks with storage. Back here, all of these compartments open up and there's just tons of storage. Uh, you also, the, this storage accesses the outside compartment, so if you have snacks and food on the outside you can eat or you can pull it inside. You have two beds for adults. This bed is really big. This drops down and it turns into a giant bed. You also have the bed up front for two adults also. This is probably one of the most comfortable beds of any camper we have. So, uh, you know, the inside of it, it's very military-esque, right? But it's all about the user. You know, you want something that's durable, strong, that will last for a long time. The Conquer is a really good fit for you. You know, it's not as shiny as some of these other, you know, trailers or caravans you see coming from Australia. Uh, but as far as utilitarian, and usability, it has everything you need. And it is very comfortable. The inside, the beds are very, very comfortable. You have nice little components. You do have the solar system, your battery bank, your water system. You have the things that to make camping very, very comfortable, but you have it in probably one of the coolest looking campers that you can buy in the world. This might be one of the coolest campers you'll ever see driving down the road. When we're driving down the road with these things hooked up, people are like, 
holy moly like it they are pretty legit cool looking so last thing i do want to mention is outside again and is the suspension okay underneath the camper we have a independent control arm with gas shocks and airbags so very good for the off-road and you know hitting those washboards it's going to take those very well but also when you get to camp you have that easy ability to level from side to side so the setup is going to be really nice and convenient i love the airbags it just makes camping so much easier opposed to driving on blocks especially when you're dealing with just two wheels opposed to you know four wheels so there you have it the urban escape vehicle 490 by conqueror if you have any questions, you can make some comments below. Feel free to text us. Some of those questions might be answered on the full tour, so just reach out to us directly. And Otherwise, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've learned something. Don't forget this video is brought to you by ROA Off-Road. If you're interested in a camper or one of these and you want to know a bit more about it, reach out to us directly. If you want to become a roamer, what that is is it's the people that buy campers from us. When you buy a camper, you become a roamer. And we have a community of people. You know, we go on roamer adventures. We have a roamer rally. It's a really neat group of people. There are people that are interested in getting out into nature, off-roading, adventure, whatever it is. Uh, it's a really, really neat group. And that's another reason why people come from all over to be a part of RVs of America, because they want to be a part of our community, the roamer community. And you can now with a Conqueror. So, Thank you so much for watching and make it a wonderful day. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.